morning. And good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you all this morning. And, um, you know, this weather's just... Uh, too cold. <laughs> too cold, and then, like, Monday was a beautiful day, and... Wednesday was Yesterday was, was a beautiful nice, day, yeah. and now what? And who knows? And so, it's, it's gonna, just, what, it's crazy. Is it 48 today? I, it's crazy. High? It's crazy. Hmm. Anyway, I'm Nancy yes. Case, and I'm your host today, and it's good to be with you all this morning. And Brene Beatty is co-hosting. Retired, gone mm -hmm. to the dogs. Retired and gone to the dogs. And then we have with us our regular Mary Ballard, who is on just about every week with us with a four-legged friend and yes. today we have a four-legged friend. You can't friend. see her because she and has black I and know, I have on black. She's black. She's black and she has some really pretty brown markings and white yeah. markings but mm -hmm. but I don't think she's going to turn around and let you see come her. Here, so Come here. Looky there. Oh how here. pretty you oh, are. Yes. 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 So this is um, this is Jackie. Jackie. Okay. Jackie is dog number 369 and she is a one-year-old female hound mix. She's just absolutely sweet as she can be. She's she's had a bath and everything, and she uh, yesterday at uh, Pampered Pets. Yes, and we it, thank Pampered oh, yes, Pets because do. they Melissa, they, you're wonderful. They, they do. Is wonderful. They. She's a good friend and and does this every week for our dogs that we bring here, um, and uh, she's ignored the cats there, so that's a good thing. Okay, that's yeah. a good sign. That's mm -hmm. a good sign. So she's dog friendly too because uh, she 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 and Pearl just played and played and played a little bit. Okay. And uh, she likes treats. She loves she likes treats. treats. <laughs> she has a good appetite. Yes. So here we go. Mm -hmm. And she is urgent and sponsored. So yes. you need to go to the shelter and adopt her. She is so precious. She is. Now, She's a lover. now tell them. She's a lover. We know what time. urgent means, folks, because we are not a total 100% no-kill city yet. We're probably 90, how much? 90? Uh, they run between 90, 93%. Okay, yeah. but but still, there's that mm -hmm. 10 to 7% that, you know, they yeah. get adopted. Yeah. And so, yeah. so we. she has been sponsored, which means that if, see if I'm right, if they go pick her up, they don't have to pay. I mean, they don't pick her up. They go and select her. <laughs> they go they don't have to her. pay the $50 That's adoption fee. That's correct. Okay. All they have to do is uh, do the paperwork and adopt her, and then uh, someone else has already volunteered to pay the adoption fee. And then she will go to the veterinarian of your choice in Bradley County. Uh, the ones that do it for the adoption fee is, 50, uh, is uh, Dixie Day, Spay, and Appalachia. They do it for the $50 adoption fee, which will cover her spay and her uh, rabies vaccination. DHP fee. And her, uh, right, her uh, parvo and, and the and stemper you, and, and all those other combination shots, <laughs> exactly. And if, uh, and if it goes to Dixie, they do wormer too. They, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, they are good yeah. enough right. to, uh, <laughs> to provide wormers. Uh, yeah, but well, what part of that did you not like? That's a good like? thing. <laughs> she <laughs> crumbs. I, I think she's, I know. You know, are you she says, are you I'm <laughs> saving those for later. And, <laughs> and folks, now we're calling her Jackie, but mm -hmm. that's not what, if you like her, you can call there today. What is that phone right. number? Uh, the phone number at the shelter is uh, at Animal Control is 479-2122, or you can call Cleveland for a no-kill city after hours, after 5 o'clock, because the, the shelter is only open from 11 until 5. If you call after hours, they have volunteers on staff 24-7 to take your phone calls, and they will put her on a safe list, and then you would go and adopt her. Um, the phone number for Cleveland for a no-kill city that's open 24 hours a day is 423 Four six four six zero seven zero. Now, and tell them that you want to uh, to adopt Jackie, number dog number three sixty nine. Three sixty nine, folks. Now, don't call and ask for Jackie because we name them when they come in here, or if they happen to be a surrender and we happen to know the dog's name, that's what we call them. But. Yeah. But they don't name them at the shelter, so it's dog 369. But, uh, the and volunteers at the adoption events, uh, they, they kind of give them a the name. That's okay, why during the so summer we have to make it up ourselves. But during okay. the wintertime, you know, fall and, and spring, because of the adoption events, we, we name them or they name them there at the adoption events as they're walking them. And uh, just so that they can be a little bit more personal with them. Yeah. And, and, and Jackson was adopted. Jackson was adopted. Week, okay, good, 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 good. Yes. That was a sweet, oh, adorable he was so dog. So sweet, yes. And and so this is a female, this but female. she will be spayed. Mm -hmm. With that, she's already the fifty dollars has already been paid. And what do we think she is? 
Do they she's say hound. hound. I don't think she's well, now, hound. Well, she's got some hound barking on her. But she doesn't have hound ears. She's no, got she some black lab. She's, she's got, got no, She's something. got thick, long hair. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I. Uh, she's got some lab in her, I believe. Yeah. I, I think that might be right. And mm -hmm. we or maybe think she's some about terrier. a year yeah. old. Yeah. Yep. Okay, about, about a year, a year old. old. So, folks, she's a nice young and puppy. She's got a fluffy kind of tail. Mm -hmm. I think she has maybe some terrier mm -hmm. in her. Maybe. She's real active. She is she, extremely yeah. active. Now, my lab has this big old wide uh, fluffy tail too. Oh, really? So labs have that big, oh. yeah, my husband calls it her boat rudder. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So, you this is this is our dog that we need to find a home for today. Yes, because she's so sweet. Now, and her her due out date was November the first, so yeah. she is ooh. beyond urgent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, she this is. is what the this is the this is the twenty first. Twenty first. So, whoa, yeah. we're twenty days past yeah. her due date, so so we need to find her a home. Now but she's healthy, and she is healthy. She is she's healthy. Very, yeah. healthy. very healthy. Uh, now let's talk about the adoption events for just a minute, because okay. you mentioned that. So we mm -hmm. have adoption events. Are we having one Saturday? Uh, we are. Uh, uh, the uh, Clemford Oak Hill City will take the animals again to Tractor Supply this Saturday and uh, you can go to uh, the Facebook page and see the uh, adoption event um, flyer they'll have it there it's from usually from 9 until 2 or 3 depending upon uh, which animal control officer we get as to whether or not we get to stay an extra hour. But okay, <laughs> we've, right. had, we've had Calling. people show up at 3 o'clock last Saturday and the, the the volunteer was driving off to uh, so that someone else could come and load, and they're going, no, wait a minute, I want to see that dog. So they went <laughs> Wonderful. over. Wonderful. Yeah, the volunteer had parked over there waiting on the other caravan as we get to, ready to go back to animal control, and they went over and actually uh, yeah. adopted the dog. Then, yeah, so. how neat. <laughs> yeah, so stop us on the way. <laughs> and folks, if you can help participate <laughs> any. At, I think she sees at herself. Tractor Supply. Yes. yes. Because they are so wonderful. They do yeah. the they they let us have their parking lot yeah. and for these events. And so if you happen to have a dog and you don't need to come and, and get one, do buy your dog supplies there. They have yeah. dog food yeah. and other things and for the dogs. And they they're very, very too, yeah. generous yeah. about yeah, helping out in this. And last week they gave us a box of uh, adoption adoption kits. Oh. And it had some coupons in it and um, um, a leash treats. and everything, mm -hmm. some treats, mm -hmm. yeah. So oh, that if a dog was adopted, you gave the adoption kit mm -hmm. out. How yeah. neat, yeah. how neat. And thank you very much, yes, Tractor Supply you. people. Now, most of these people that come to do this event are volunteers, folks. We do have mm -hmm. some staff at the uh, at the no. shelter. Well, at, at the, the shelter, shelter at the shelter. shelter. Yeah. Let me finish my sentence, girls. Okay. <laughs> we do have some staff at the shelter, but... Most of the people that do the events are not staff. They are volunteers. And the shelter is only open from 9 until noon, so... Okay, on Saturday. 10 until 2. Oh, 10 until noon. I'm sorry. On yes, Saturday. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's 10 until on noon. Saturday. On yeah. Saturday. On Saturday. And then, but... Two hours. Okay. But then during the week, it's open... From 11 until 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, tell them clean. where... <laughs> Tell them where the shelter is. Uh, the shelter is located at 360 Hill Street, and that is off of Inman Street as you're going out of town from downtown. Okay. You'll see the uh, metal salvage uh, business there and just turn uh, to down beside it, that is Hill Street, and go out about a, less than a quarter of a mile, and it's out on the right. You can't Look, miss it. Big dog house. Blue like dog house. Blue dog house with the bone on the front of it. You can't yes. miss it. So give us some phone numbers again, Mary. Okay. Um, Animal Control's phone number is 479-2122 and Cleveland for a no-kill city is 464-6070. Please call and put uh, the dog on the, the urgent, li the save list mm -hmm. yeah. because she is very, very urgent. She needs to be uh, in a home. A home. Yes. She needs a home. She home. does need a home. Now let's talk about foster homes a minute. Mm-hmm. What about them? <laughs> we all do it. <laughs> I know you do. Just about. <laughs> well, we don't really have a foster program yet. I know you don't. Uh, We're still working on Jenny it. Jenny Herman is presenting it to the Animal Control, Animal whatever Board advisory, the, uh, advisory meeting Board. at the next meeting. All right. And um, we, once the dogs are adopted uh, or we have, find a rescue that will take them, it, sometimes it takes like two or three weeks mm -hmm. to... Uh, arranged transport or the rescue will say 
and we need quarantine coming from the shelter and everything. So we, if uh, you're interested in a short-term dog, mm -hmm. you can be a short-term mm -hmm. foster. Mm -hmm. It's the way to uh, love on them, but not be totally responsible. Anywhere from yeah. overnight up to two weeks two, three or weeks. even longer. Because yeah. Uh, sometimes the rescues are full, but they'll want to save them, so they'll say, hey, if you can get a local foster, we'll take it in when we get an opening up here at our foster yeah. program. So Is we she too large to go up north where they're always looking for puppies because to me she's just she's still a puppy but is she no she's too no, large she's we, about we, we they, send big ones we up okay yeah, okay we send yeah. older dogs because she's she's adorable mm -hmm. she really really is and all right now let's talk about the yes. Cleveland for a no kill facebook page just a minute. yes okay. yes if you want to see pictures of other animals uh dogs and cats we do have cats too. Yes, <laughs> and we do, and we forget and them. I'm sorry. We do. Kittens. So go to the Facebook page of Cleveland for a no kill city. And uh, volunteers go into the animal control every day and take pictures. They post those pictures up on Facebook, usually between 5 and uh, 7 o'clock in the evenings. And you can go on there and look at every animal that is available at the shelter at that time. And if you see one you like, you can call that number mm -hmm. and say, I'm interested in that dog. They'll put it on the safe list. That means that it won't be killed. And then, but it doesn't mean that you get the dog, right? Because it's yes, a first come. We've had that problem. Yes, uh -huh. it's a first come, mm -hmm. first serve uh, operation. Because we learned the hard way. People who say, "Oh, I want that dog," you don't save it because sometimes they don't show up, mm -hmm. and then you know the dog loses out they, on the home. They think mm -hmm. that just putting it on the safe list will save its life, which does not. That uh, that is not correct. Putting it on the safe list means that you are going to save its life. You are mm -hmm. going to go the next day and adopt that animal out, the dog or the cat, either one. So if you call in, you do need to go and adopt yes. the animals. But if somebody else shows up before you, you do. It's gone. And they then want it's gone. Then and then you can choose gone. another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. but there, there are, are always so many precious, yes. so many how many, precious how many, dogs there. Too. Roughly how many dogs do you think are out there right now? Uh, they had a couple of that uh, were empty kennels. I, I didn't get a count. I should have done okay. that. Okay, well, that's all right. Do we'll that, do that next, for next Okay, time. I'm, I'm just wondering what, what we re average out there. And uh, then they average about 30 dogs, 30 yeah. dogs a, on a daily okay. basis, probably. Right. So, yeah. yeah, every dog needs a home. And, folks, if you've lost your dog, because yes. Yes. there are dogs that they pick up. Now, this mm -hmm. one was picked up on Baby, uh, Baby Drive. Drive. Baby Drive. Drive. Baby right. Drive. So, if you're missing right. this wonderful dog, Check and with the animal shelter. Give them that number again. Uh, she would have been lost around uh, the second or uh, last couple of weeks in October, too, because her due out date was the first. So th that means she's been there for a while. Okay. Um, the, um, the, the number at the shelter? Oh, the, the, the shelter number is 479-2122. And Cleveland for a no-kill city is 464-6070. And please come out Saturday to the adoption events. Yes, and got lots of dogs that need if homes. If you can't adopt, foster. If you can't foster, sponsor. If you can't sponsor, uh, make a donation. Donate. <laughs> make a donation. <laughs> donate, and we please. need volunteers. And we need volunteers desperately at the yes. adoption events because we have some people Walk that, the dog. that are there every Saturday and and. They'd uh, really like they a day off. Days <laughs> off. So we've been getting some Lee University students and uh, some Cleveland State mm -hmm. students sign up to volunteer, and we do appreciate those very, very much. Great. They're, Mary, thank you so helpful. much. Jackie is, Jackie is, is precious. Jackie's precious. So now don't go away. We're going to come back with, like I always tell you, our two legged friends. So Miss, Miss Jackie's going to leave us, and hello. <laughs> she she is going to leave us, and then we will be back. So don't go away. Be sure you watch this commercial. <laughs> Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. 
Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. And we are back, and we have drug in a student this yes. morning, and we're so glad she's here. Ansley McCarley is here, and she's going to talk to us. You know, folks, it's getting a, a pounce to the Thanksgiving season. And Ansley, a week from today. Yeah, that is true. It's a week from today. Yeah. Oh, I hope Flavis is cooking. And Ansley is uh, the student government president at Cleveland High School. So, But she has a big project she's doing, so tell us about what you're doing. Yes, I'm doing, um, I call it Food for Families, and basically what it is, is um, getting a week's worth of groceries for needy families in the community. Like, I basically went to all the elementary schools and got needy families, um, and so most of them are from the elementary schools, and we just shopped for groceries for them so they could have that, because we're out for a week for Thanksgiving, and some kids only get food, like... Um, you know, at school. Oh, that is true. Oh, that is, that is true. true. Yeah. So you're out for a week at Thanksgiving. For a week. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do that when I taught school. <laughs> Poo. We got two days off. Oh. Okay. We didn't get spring break either. No, we, we didn't. Were not. We didn't. <laughs> no. And whatever that other week y'all have already had off anyway. But we digress, and we do that. Yeah. And frequently. Okay. Yeah. Now, tell us. You said we. Who is we? Um, well, it's my SGA. Like all the SGA members are helping. And we have connections classes at the Cleveland High School, at Cleveland High School, and it's kind of like homeroom, sort of. And so some teachers have sponsored, like I think a total of 38 teachers have sponsored a family, and the rest we've just raised money, like through the church and stuff like that, to get the money to shop for the rest. Okay. So cool. Now, and I know people get tired of this, but Ansley's at Broad Street United Methodist Church, okay? And I just happened to, you know, that happens to be okay for me to say that since <laughs> it's my show. But anyway, <laughs> all right, now you went to the elementary schools and got these, got these families. How did you go about doing that? I first I emailed all the principals when I got the idea to do this project. And I just asked them, like, the best way to contact the needy families because some don't really want to receive it depending on their situation. Mm -hmm. So I made up an application and then I went to the schools and gave them like 50 each and then the guidance counselors picked which ones needed the most and gave them to me. I think this is wonderful. Now yeah. where did this, did you just think this idea up or did you borrow it from someone? Well I was talking with my SGA representative Miss Ringstaff and she was talking about how um, first I wanted to do like a project during Thanksgiving because nobody, I think it gets overlooked a lot it of times. It does, it gets mm -hmm. missed. Because Christmas is like a big deal and everyone does projects, but I was like we should do one during Thanksgiving because we haven't done enough service projects really. So we thought like what would be a good idea and she at her old school they had like a ton of families like 70 and they made like turkeys and like whole Thanksgiving meals and then delivered it to the house. Oh wow. So we were thinking wow. what would be easier for like the first time because we wanted to continue <laughs> yeah. but so we stuck with groceries for the first time around. So. Now, That's a good idea. Though. Yeah I was going to say how do I, if you're going to cook a meal how do I get on that list? Yeah now, <laughs> me too. Now uh, what types of foods are you going to have in these? We made like a sample list like mac and cheese, instant potatoes, soup, canned vegetables, crackers, 
um, mainly it's like not pair, like non-perishable mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think what else we did. Are you doing um, a canned ham or anything like that? We didn't do that yet. We're gonna get like gift cards for them for perishable like milk and oh, eggs and stuff. Oh, cool. Like a ten dollar okay. gift card. Um, oh, we put bread, peanut butter, jelly, ramen noodles, spaghetti, um, and spaghetti sauce. Pop tart cereal, granola bars, and stuff. Wow, like that. So, this is great. That is. Now, how are we going to get this food to these families? Well, I'm on uh, Friday tomorrow. We're delivering it all. Like, we're just going in separate cars and getting the boxes, and then giving it to the school. And then the guidance counselors, I think, are going to disperse it, or like the teachers are going to pick it up, or the parents, I mean. And we'll probably just drop it off like in the auditorium or their gym, where they can get it, like at a central place. So. so you're asking these families to actually come to the school and yeah, pick we were, this up? Originally we were going to deliver it to their house, but um, it got complicated because there's 55 of them, <laughs> 55 wow. families. Wow, that's great. So it'd be hard to like, and it'd be easier for them, I think, to, to just come pick it up. Was so. this city schools or city? City names? schools. I have families from Arnold, Blythe Bauer, Ross, Yates, Stewart, Mayfield, and some from CMS and CHS too. Now, are you all required as, as the Student Government Association, you, are you required to do a certain amount of community projects or something like that? No, but I wanted to do one just because a lot of people don't really know what SGA does. And if we're known for this, I think it'd be a good thing to be known for. So. I think yeah. you're right. I think so too. And yeah. I agree with you. Thanksgiving is just, I mean, we just, being a retailer, I know, we jump from <laughs> Halloween to Christmas. Yeah. You just yeah. don't think about Thanksgiving. And, and I know that, a, that there are two groups that do the backpack thing for the children on yeah. weekends because they don't get, get as food. much food. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't really thought about being a whole week away from school right. and maybe not having anything to eat but once a day for yeah yeah I think well, you, I think this is absolutely wonderful now how many of you are involved how many SGA people are involved in this um we have I think in total like our club is like about 40 kids wow um there's like about nine representatives per class but um they like they're the ones who went to like each student was responsible for talking to each Connections class and being like, do you want to sponsor a family and everything. Um, but basically it's been me, um, Miss Ringstaff and Miss Smart, another SGA like representative, and my mom. We went grocery shopping shopping on Monday. We just got like five carts and like got everything that night. Wow. So. Now let's offer an opportunity to our yeah. audience. What do you need? What, what do you need to complete this project? Like more money or For gift cards? Then you could give cards give, or what do you need? More. We have, we pretty much have all the food to be delivered. I guess it is just the gift cards. Like okay. That would, yeah. And so you want, what kind of gift cards do you want? Do you want like Walmart gift cards or do you want just at like a Visa gift card or what are we looking at? Well, preferably it'd be like one's to a like gift cards to a grocery okay. store just because Walmart um, we're just w concerned that like you can get anything at Walmart and like Cooks or Publix or Bilo is pretty much strictly just groceries so I think okay. that's the easiest. Yeah. Now that's neat and food that line. you all thought of that. And food line too. Yeah. yeah okay that you thought about that let's yeah. let's restrict them a little bit with what right. we're doing. I think that's wonderful. Now you all are going to buy the gift card. If if some of you right. people out there want to call Cleveland High School do you know the phone number at Cleveland High School? I don't. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay because I embarrassed our, our new preacher one time. I had him on with me and I said, what's the number at the church? And he didn't know. He don't have been there week though. So, so he don't have been there week. Yeah. But it's in the phone book, folks. So you can look it up if you want to write a check to Cleveland High School for, to help them do this because that's how, how have y'all raised the money? Well, like I told you, the, um, the teachers that are like taking care of the 38 families, like they're doing it all on their own. Like okay. Students and their connections. We have about 20 students in each connections class, and they're just like bringing in food or bringing in like what we did with my connections class. We just all brought in $10. Wow. And okay. then we walked to Cook's one day and just got all the food. So you can do that, Neat. but um, most of them, the teachers are covered. But with the rest of the money, I just talked to my church, Broad Street, and asked them, like, I have this need if you want to bring in food or, mo like, donations, whichever one you'd like. And um, my choir, my youth choir brought in a lot of food, so okay. I had that. And I also, um, 
Miss Robin from the food bank called me, and she gave me a lot of food too. So how neat! But basically, all my donations have come from the church. So well, that's good though, and and actually. Uh, that's where I got this information to call. Well, it's not that I don't know Ansley and and uh, it's and, and her mother, but uh, but I, that's where I got this information because it was in our newsletter last week that you all were doing this, and that's the first I knew about it. So I thought, yeah. well, this is awesome. Now, is the banner going to cover you all doing this, or uh, have you all talked to anybody about getting well? You know, so many people say kids nowadays don't do anything. Well, look no. what y'all are doing. And <laughs> the somebody good, needs the to know it. things yeah. don't get publicity. I know, I know. So, yeah, y'all need to call So, you need to them up. get somebody say, from the band to We're come over. Yeah. And, and now, I know some of these families may not want their picture in the paper getting right, their right. food. And we do need to do a confidentiality thing there. But but still, a picture you all of you delivered it are, to one of the schools. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that you cool. all are, that yeah. you all are working and everything. So right now, our library is just like covered in like boxes and food. The other day, it looked like a grocery store because we had like it all set up and we like put all the food in the boxes. So it's just like boxes of food are everywhere. So how neat! So so how many families are you all working with? You said it once, 55. but I forgot. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. And I just think this is awesome. Now, the size of the families, does, do you all know? Do we have um, mom and dad and six kids, or what have we got? Well, it varies a lot. Like, um, most of the families was like four, like, you know, four families, or four family members. Um, but we had one that had ten kids. Cool. Yeah. So they get a bigger box? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, and get some were like <laughs> single parents. And we actually had one family. Um, he was just like a little boy living with his grandparents. Like oh. his mom um, had a, like a three strokes, I think, in October. She's in the hospital, so he's living with his grandparents. So it was just him. Um, so we made sure to like, and that happened in October. So I know yeah. he needs extra yeah. attention Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Now, give us a few names of people that are that are working on this. The reason I'm saying that is. If she tells you some names and all of a sudden you say, oh, I know their mom and dad or I know them, then you can give them a check. So who are some of the people that are working with you on this? Um, Miss Ringstaff is, Miss Smart, um, they're, at the, they're at Cleveland High School, mm -hmm. um, Jan Murphy, um, Sharon Bass, she's the guidance counselor at Arnold. Okay. Um, who else is there? And Jan and, Murphy is Dr. Bill Murphy's wife, right. so you can actually go by Dr. Bill's practice how the, on 25th Street and right. leave a check if you'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> that's how the food bank, uh, Miss Robin, called me because through Dr. Bill, so that's how okay. she knew about it, I guess you say. so. But we want to be sure that everybody out there has an opportunity to help mm -hmm. these wonderful students that yeah. are doing this if you want to. Or and you so, can make a donation to the food bank. Yes, you can. To, to you replace can make, some yes, that they gave. Yes, yeah. they gave yeah. So, so I, Ansley, I just think this is absolutely wonderful. Thank I really you. do. You are to be and commended. Yes. And Thank well, you. how did you get elected student uh, president of the SG, of the Student Government <laughs> Association? Um, I started SGA freshman year. You have to like run for office, I guess you can say. So, freshman year, and to be student government president, you have to have been in SGA for three years. So you have to re like rerun, I guess, every So you year. had to politic for this. <laughs> yeah. So I ran freshman, sophomore, and then it was actually we voted for vice president the very end of sophomore year. So um, I made posters. Don't be sorry, vote for McCarley. That's my <laughs> slogan. <laughs> so that was my slogan and um, then we voted on vice president. But at Cleveland High School it's like vice president elect so I shadowed the president and then I just automatically became president. You're an automatic but you right. did your politicking right, right. already. Okay. <laughs> Ansley thank you so much for being thank on with you. us today and I'm just so proud of what you're doing and I think that's great and if anybody has any questions you call me at the shop 473-1114 because I know how to get a hold of Ansley and her whole family and so I even know her daddy's email address so so you know we can get you in contact with these people so so but they they probably need a little bit more money don't you always always yeah. and then if you have anything left over you can Prime do another project the there we yeah. go so thank you so much for being on with us thank and folks you. again don't go away we'll be right back because we have another 
two-legged guest who's going to talk to you about <laughs> shopping for the holidays. So yes. we'll be right back. Don't go away. Thank you so much. for Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Are you having trouble filing for disability? Seems no one is concerned about your pain, the waiting, the denials. While some representatives will meet with you in court, we will meet with you now to discuss your plan. We'll review with you the same file that the judges will see. Call us now, Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson. You're entitled to better. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. And we are back and yes. busted again. We always get busted because we're talking backstage and, you know, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden here we are. But Bernadette Douglas, Executive Vice President of the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce, is with us now to talk yes. to us about shopping locally. For the yes. holidays. For the holidays. And yeah. the rest and, of the year. Anytime. All the time. All, all the time. But we yeah. want to mainly stress right now for the holidays. So, yes. you go, girl. Tell us all about it. <laughs> well, what we're doing at the Chamber this year for um, the holidays um, you know, we had tried our Buy a Bradley card, and that was somewhat successful, but it kind of, you know, faded away. So we're kind of concentrating on getting people to shop with our chamber members. Of course, any other retail establishments that they'd like to go to as well, but we want to support the people that support the chamber. Right. So what we have come up with is uh, this promotion for the holidays, and it's um, Hot Holiday Deals. And people will be able to go to the Chamber website, which is www.clevelandchamber.com. And in the left-hand side, um, there will be a graphic that says Hot Holiday Deals. It's red. It kind of stands out from the regular. And when you click on that, it will take you to another page where Chamber members have put Hot Holiday Deals. Cool. And it can either be a discount. It can be buy one, get one, whatever they would like to offer. Um, and they can either, depending on what the, it's kind of like a coupon, but depending on what it said, they may have to print something and take it to the store. They may have to, um, one, of the, uh, one of the deals is a sizable discount on a piece of furniture if you make a charitable donation. And wow. you have to bring your check to the charity to get this deal. So you can, you know, look at all the deals and pick whichever one you want. Um, they, our software lets people put a beginning and end date on it. So, you know, it's going to change constantly because we're encouraging the businesses 
to put multiple deals on if they want to have a special deal for Small Business Saturday, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. They can put a special deal, one day deal for that. Um, if they want to have something that's the week before Christmas or they want to have the week after Christmas, whatever they want to do. The beauty of it for us is that we're handling the promotional side of it. We're going to have billboards, of course, I'm here today. We're going to have newspaper, radio, um, of course, all our social, social media outlets. And we're just promoting driving people to check the website. And then it's up to the merchants to, you know, get the stuff on there, mm -hmm. honor their discounts and, and all that. So Now, oh, let, that let me make really this cool. point to everybody. Mm -hmm. You do not have to be a member of the chamber to go on the website oh, right. definitely. and yes. get the discounts. No, it's, it's definitely, con that part of it is consumer driven. But the people that are offering the discounts, the businesses are only chamber members. So if, if you're watching the show and you're not a chamber member and you want to participate, Give us a call. We'll be happy to sign you up, get you a login. And, and what makes it great for us is that um, people can log into their member profile on the Chamber software, and they do it all. We just have to approve it. We call it approving it, but basically what we're doing is checking your spelling and <laughs> right, you know, yeah, right. making sure your, your commas and you know everything is right, and then we'll put it up there. And we are planning to um, kind of release all the deals on Sunday so that it's in place for next week and that's when our ads are going to start running and um, you know constantly constantly changing and so, so that you could means do multiple ones like yeah. oh yeah, one yeah. And oh then yeah do another one for a different day so cool. this means yeah. that you want me to make, get mine in by Friday as soon as possible, as soon as now, possible you know tonight? it doesn't have to be you know like we said it's going to be constantly changing every day you know some some people may have different expiration dates um, and you know, you could go and it's there'll be new ones. You can also, which I think is really cool, as a consumer, you can sign up to get an email when a new one is posted. Oh, oh, that is neat. Yeah. yeah it is. So yeah. you know, and again, you don't have to be a member of the chamber to no, get that email. No, 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 no. Okay. no. That's Good. just for the consumer side of it. Okay. And so you can sign up, and it'll pop you an email when there's a new one posted, and it may be something you're interested in, and it may not, but mm -hmm. at least you know that something new is up there. Oh, I like that. I mm -hmm. think that's a neat yeah. idea, too. Yeah. And, and so now there'll be, like, restaurants. And, yes. And gift shops yes. and car lube and everything. tire change, we, we, we targeted everything that you could either get a gift certificate for, gift certificate for a service. You could go in and buy something. We just tried. We went through our membership directory, and um, we sent an email to a business classification, so the gift shop classification they got the email but that's not to say we're excluding anybody else we just kind of wanted to target people that we thought oh they they would have an offer that would be good so you know we've already gotten um, like I said the furniture uh, donuts a couple of other ones so they're starting to trickle in that we've only been doing it a couple of days that so. is so neat it and, is and it's and it's a way to help your small businesses yes. and because the chamber is comprised of not only industry mm -hmm. and business but small business. Mostly small business, really, if you think about yeah. it. We, we are probably, if you kind of looked at our membership and went, oh, I'm going to like count, like we can do this, sort our members by number of employees. And, you know, 15 or less is probably 80% of our, our members. What and I what a great way oh, yeah. to promote your business without spending any money. Yeah, really, you know? just a little bit of time. Yeah. And of course, you know, it's yeah. going to cost you, well, as a, a you'll know, yeah. as a business yeah. owner, it's going to cost you to do something, mm -hmm. whether it's a discount, but it's but also going to bring somebody new into your yeah, store that, that may true. not come into your establishment. That, that, that will be true. writing a check to right. cover advertising. That is, that is true. Doing yeah. all of it. I know when we had Case and Art, uh, the, the idea, the government idea of a small business is something like 500, 200. It's like 200. 200 employees. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not that's my idea. Big, no. that's, that's, a big know, that's, to that's, be, a, yeah. that's a large business in yeah, Brandon County. Yeah. But but uh, but most of the people that'll be doing this will be what we consider small business. Right, and you know, I don't need to educate you two on the benefits of sh keeping your shopping dollars at home, yeah. keeps your sales tax dollars at home, keeps our local sales tax lower. So we really want to, you know, have mm -hmm. people understand that when you shop at home, it's not just supporting the businesses 
but it's keeping your sales tax dollars here. We don't need our sales tax dollars to go to Hamilton County. No, no. I you know? have said for no. years, quit supporting the Hamilton County schools right. and quit making their roads better when we need the support for our schools and we need better roads in Brady County. Right. Every, and you uh, won't have to deal with all that traffic on right. 75. That is exactly right. Absolutely. And Lord true. save me from Hamilton Plus Mall. <laughs> <small. laughs> For sure. Yeah. But, and, and you know, what gets me is people want to go to Chattanooga to eat. We have wonderful oh, we have restaurants, have wonderful here. restaurants. Yeah. We, we are way past the, the stigma of not having good restaurants mm -hmm. in Bradley mm -hmm. County. Um, went to Jenkins Ribbon Cutting today. Oh, yeah. And they're the now officially really? open. And I oh, think people... Oh, spring... Spring, Spring Creek. Creek. I think oh, okay. people will be pleasantly. It feels the same as the other place. Did they I take think all of the wonderful. carvings? They stuff? took all the carvings. Oh, they wow. took the paneling with the handwriting. They took the tables. It's it's great. What a hoot! Yeah. Okay, so go out there today, okay. folks. Mm -hmm. Go out there yeah. today and get you a sandwich at Jenkins and yes. check out their new. Do they have the train running through? They the, do. Okay, <laughs> because they had told me they were going to have a train. They do have and, a train. And. Uh, I love trains, so I just thought that was going to be And it has a button on the wall that you can start it. <laughs> oh, in case if it's, it's not, not running. running. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is too neat. It's really nice. It was well, very we nice. we digress. But anyway, yeah, we, see, do. we do that see, frequently. We do that frequently. <laughs> but you've got, you've got all these nice restaurants. You've got yes. Cafe Roma. You've got Ketch. You've got yes. Jenkins. You've and they all, all sell gift cards. And yes. we're hoping that they all put an offer on the site. And then, you know, even if it's you know, 5% off a gift card. Yeah. That's incentive to go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And gift cards make such wonderful stocking mm -hmm. stuffers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for Christmas and, and also just not nice little rewards mm -hmm. for, I know we're always wanting to do something to our, for our paper girl mm -hmm. and then our, we get two papers, yeah. our paper guy and the mailman. Mm -hmm. And so I told my husband this year, I said, why don't we just give them gift cards? Yeah. I said, it doesn't have to be a hundred dollar gift no, card. No, yeah. Just a nice little gift card mm -hmm. so they can get what they want or That's right. Absolutely. And they would probably Was rather it? have that. Oh, I'm sure they would. I'd much than, rather have that. Than a big old tin of popcorn. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. So, now, here again, folks, if you're not a member of the chamber, you know my speech on this. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you a member of the chamber? Right. But if you want to benefit, if you want to join so that you can benefit from this, 472-6587. I have that one memorized. Four, Thank seven, you very two, much. Six, five, <laughs> and, but also, you don't have to be a member of the Chamber. Now, to explain to them again how we do this, how they can go on and get their... Just, you go to the Chamber website, uh, clevelandchamber.com. In the left-hand sidebar will be a red graphic, um, and it'll say Hot Holiday Deals. You just click on that. It takes you right to the page, and you can see all the offers listed. And then you just click on them individually, whatever you're interested in. Oh, okay. So you would just individualize, mm -hmm. and then, and and also, you people that are members of the chambers, this is a great way for you to see how you're advertising. Now, you're mm -hmm. no advertising dollar, but to see how it's working. If yes, you ask definitely. them to print out the coupon and bring it in, yes. then you can see how successful yes. that was, mm -hmm. which yeah. will help you out in mm -hmm. the future and we'll, on some things. Uh, from the chamber side, I am not positive that we'll be able to track individually you know, each deal, like how many times it gets printed. Um, we haven't gotten that far into it yet, but I know we will be able to look at, once we start the advertising, how many, pe if we get a spike in the number of people going mm -hmm. to that page. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to kind of look at that and say, mm -hmm. oh, it this does deal, work, yeah. so. And another thing that that'll help you local merchants with is, say you do something special, and you run it for three days and nobody comes in, mm -hmm. then take it off and put something else on. Exactly. Yeah. And we can change the dates. Um, you probably couldn't go in after you've already published it. We can probably change it and take it off if you see it's not working. Right. And put something, something new on. Yeah. And, and that's great. Mm -hmm. and, and this is just, I think everybody's aware because it was a wonderful, wonderful event, was the membership event mm -hmm. we had uh, back in October. Yeah. And uh, we now have over 1,200 members of yep. the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce. Right. So this is a wonderful opportunity for all you new members even yes. to introduce yourself mm -hmm. to the community. Definitely. Yeah. And let me ask, like insurance agents and people mm -hmm. like that, if they wanted to make some kind of offer, I mean, are, are, is it available for them? or It's available to any of our members that want to put something up there. Okay. That, is, that is definitely a deal. Um, we don't want somebody just to kind of put an ad up there. Right. We want it to be something that somebody could go, oh, 
mm -hmm. I can get that. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Right, and and it's just like, well, let me just say, for instance, because I don't know that this is what I'm gonna do, but if I just said 10% off on the Elf on the yeah. Shelf with this coupon, right? Uh, then then there we go, and yeah. that's up there, and mm -hmm. and so that's that's kind of what you do. Yeah, and. You do not have to be a member of the chamber to shop there to right. go and get the right. That's just wide open. Right, and that and that's wonderful, folks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that might help you all know who some of our businesses are. Really, because there are some new businesses in town mm -hmm. that I did not know about till we had the yeah the chamber membership I event. I thought, where did five hundred and fifty-eight people come from that I have you know half of them I'd never heard of before. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot we of those were out of town. Growing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are growing, and mm -hmm. and but there's a lot of new things that have, mm -hmm. that are coming are. up, and out off of Paul Huff, there's some new things, mm -hmm. and of course I want y'all to come downtown. Right. But but this is, uh, I just think this is real exciting. It is. We're and excited I, about it. I wish I had my facts, but there there's a percentage of tax dollars that stays here, and another percentage yeah. that if you shop out somewhere right. else, and then if you shop online, we get. Things. Yeah. So. Well, I, I want to say too. This was a, this came out of um, a discussion at our. We have a small business committee, and this kind of evolved during a discussion of how can we promote shop local. And we're kind of talking, and you know, about having deals for chamber member businesses. And I was like, oh, we can use what we have. So we have a small business committee, and and that's what they do. They're business owners and thinking about. How can we promote small businesses in Bradley County? And if, and if anybody's watching that is a small business and a chamber member and wants to join our committee, we'd be happy to have them. Absolutely. Bernadette, thank you so much. For being, I'm excited about this. I, think I know, it's, so much. I want to just go on the website and just see what this, because I may want to go shopping. Nothing's there yet. Yeah. Somewhere <laughs> besides the, but Sunday. Wait, wait, yeah. Sunday, yeah, Sunday. Coming Sunday. up Sunday. Yes. ClevelandChamber.com. Okay, mm -hmm. so there we go. It's supposed to be cold and rainy Sunday. So that'd be a good thing. Yeah, get perfect. On the and do it. Okay. Perfect. Sit on the Thank computer. you so much. Folks, don't You're go welcome. away. Brene and I will be back in just a minute to kind of give you a few little ideas of something you can do this weekend. But thank you so much. You're welcome. We appreciate That's it. such a neat idea. I know, isn't it? We're it's excited. It's, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I think it's great. Yeah. And we're... Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland, is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don't let for Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Ledford, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Okay, yes. and we are back with some things that you all need to know. So 
get out your paper and pencil right now and let's write these down. Now, this is not this weekend. Mm -hmm. the, let's get on to another weekend. But yes. I want you to be sure. Um, this is the downtown Christmas celebration thing. So on December the 6th, lighting of the tree and the reverse caroling. Mm -hmm. The churches put their choirs out on their church steps. And like First Baptist is no longer there anymore, but I think they still bring their choir and put them on the old First Baptist. Anyway, the carolers don't move. You move, and you mm -hmm. go to each church. And so that's after we've lit the big tree at the courthouse that Santa has pushed the button and lit the tree. Okay, that is on Friday night. On Saturday night at 6 o'clock, uh, that would be the 6th, 7th, is the Christmas parade. Now... If you are interested in getting in the Christmas parade, 479-1000, Sharon Mart Main Street, you know, it, today getting, the deadline? I think it's, it's the, getting close to the deadline. 22nd. So you, you better call. Think, yeah. You better call today or tomorrow if you want to get in. And so that, that starts at 6 o'clock. And, and then on the 8th, uh, oh, that's a, the Sunday, at 3 o'clock is the 25th annual Classic Christmas Concert at the Conn Center, Lee University. And then that evening, we have the Hanging of the Greens at Broad Street. So there's a whole Christmas weekend for you right there starting on December the 6th. What you got for us, okay. girl? And on December the 8th, the Tennessee Youth Ballet will present the Nutcracker at the Dixon Center on the Lee University campus. Uh, you can purchase tickets at the Village Green Town Center. Monday through Thursday, 4 to 9 p.m., or at the door according to availability. And the tickets are $15 and $20. You can call 476-3030 for more information. So that kind of rounds out that whole that, weekend. That doesn't? does. That, that gets that whole weekend for you. If you're not in the Christmas spirit but Monday the 9th. You're not going to be. Yeah, no, forget and, it. And we're going to try to have Lisa from the uh, Museum Center on with us next week to talk about the quilt show, which will be... January 23rd through March 1st, but got to get quilts, quilts you've got to get your quilts in, and mm -hmm. this year it's hand quilting only. Yeah. No machine quilting on this, so we'll get Lisa on next week, I hope, to, uh, to tell us all about this and what constitutes a hand quilted quilt. I can't wait to see them. I know. Oh, it. I bet they'll be. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. the work. Oh, There's the going to be antique yeah. and contemporary. Yeah. So, all right, Gail. Okay, now, Saturday, this Saturday, we're talking about this weekend now. Bring a friend and enjoy fun filled time with several useful crafts and lunch from uh, this Saturday from 10 a.m. until 1 at the UT Extension Bradley County Building at 95 Church Street. I think the UT Extension programming is probably one of the best kept secrets around. Yes. I mean, you know, I agree they do is. great things. Yes, and they, they have do. wonderful programs. Yes, they do. But anyway, it's sponsored by the Bradley County FCE. I'm not sure what that means is. Mm, I'm not. Oh, well, we'll find yes, out. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. I can't come up with anything. Mm -mm. Club members and participants, uh, have fun activities and great food. Cost per person is $12. Registration is required. So you can call uh, the office at 728-7001 for registration and more details. And a week ago today, I talked to Kay, and she still had openings. Now, if you're interested, you yeah. better call today. Yeah. These things, as Brene and I found out about who gets grandma's yellow pie plate, yeah. it fills up really fast. And they, what we said two or three times, oh, we're going to do that, and uh -huh. we were too late. We, were too we late. finally got so, to. But. So 728-7001, give mm -hmm. them a call. Now, if you're going to be in Athens tonight or want to be in Athens tonight, the Athens Area Council for the Arts is going to have the return of the perennial favorite holiday event is Jazzy Little Christmas the 8th. And that's going to be on the 6th through the 8th. But tonight, they're going to have the Holiday Trunk Show. And it's sponsored by Athens Federal Community Bank in Athens, of course. It's tonight. The preview party is from 6 to 8, $5 or a donation of recently purchased non-perishable food items for the coordinated charities. And there's shopping hours and there's all kinds of things that you can do. And if you're interested, give them a call if, you, if you're saying... Nancy's crazy. I don't know what she's talking about. 423-475-8781. Uh, but it says the artists and craftspeople participating. Um, there's going to be embroidery. There's going to be 
jewelry. There's going to be scented goat milk soap and lotions. Wow. Uh, there's going to be cards, ornaments, letterpress items, um, you name it, hand, hand knit stuff. scarves, Christmas ornaments, just all kinds of things. And that's tonight at the uh, Athens Art Center, uh, the Art Center in Athens, and that's the Sue Trotter Theater. So right there on Depot Hill as you go into downtown Athens. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, for all of you that uh, may have diabetes um, and you're really dreading the holidays, yep. the UT Extension Office is having a class uh, called Healthier Eating for the Holidays Workshop, mm -hmm. which will give you some good ideas and probably good recipes. And the class times are either 10 a.m. to noon or 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. And that is going to be November the 26th. When is, when is Today's that? the 21st, so the Monday? 26th. That's about right, Monday yeah, or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, mm -hmm. early next week. Yes. Right before, yeah. yes. So you need to call, and for registration, that same number, 728-7001. And here again, I'm going to plug Broad Street United Methodist Church, okay? But they're establishing a benevolence fund, so if someone's in need, they can help them out. And one way that they're going to do this is a rummage sale that they're going to have December Saturday, December 14th. Now, I know that's a long ways off, but they're looking for items to be donated, and that's going to start December the 2nd on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 9 and 5. And they'd like for you to call Lionel, 716-7822, uh, to set up a time to deliver whatever you'd like to donate. Now, I'm going out on a limb. I'm going to say, if you pull up at, at the drive through there at Broad Street and go in and say, I'm sorry, I didn't have that phone number, but I've got some things, they'll run Lionel down. And he'll come and get your get your items. But they're they're going to take anything, and they also need shopping bags and newspapers, and uh, so anything you want to donate. And I even asked about clothes, and they said yes. Oh, really? Yeah, because most rummage sales don't, don't want, want clothes, clothes. But they said they will take clothes, and they'll take Christmas decorations. They'll take anything else that you have. So so if you're cleaning out, I'm getting yeah. ready to go to the garage and get my Christmas decorations down. I figure there'll be some things in there. I think so. I'll probably, I'll do, can do some Christmas decorations because, you know, I really don't have any family here. Right. And I generally go out of town. Right. To either visit family or friends, and I'm not putting that tree up. Just Grandma, me. what about you? I don't have any grandkids come visit me. Oh, my so, goodness. So, you know, okay. I, I go there. I understand. And, well, I have one of those, you know, those little ceramic ones with the I lights. I do. That I come remember out. those. I have one of those, and that goes in the middle of my dining room table, and I go, happy ho, ho, ho. And we're done. And, <laughs> and we're, we're done. done. Yeah. Okay. And a few Very candles. Good. Okay. got anything else for us? I sure do. The Okoy Theater Guild will hold auditions December the 1st at 2 p.m. and December the 2nd at 6.30 p.m. at the library. And they're having their upcoming production is Sirens, and it will be February the 24th. They, uh, no prepared materials are required. It's a romantic comedy, and they're looking for male and female actors uh, ages 20 to 59. So join the guild as it kicks off. Uh, it's inaugural season, mm -hmm. and for more information, you can call Dan Buck at four four zero seven. That must be a sale. Must be five nine two three eight six one. That's four zero seven five nine two three eight six one. Sirens, they're looking for us. Yes, they are. I'm, I'm sure it's not those <laughs> things on the top of police cars. Folks, we've had a really yes, good day today, and just remember, shop local during the holidays, please and help us support our schools and our roads and other things going on. Stay in Cleveland, Bradley County. Yes, and it's cold, yes. and it's going to be a bad winter. So when it's really cold, if you're cold, your animals are cold, mm -hmm. either bring them inside or make sure they have a really warm doghouse with insulation and, mm -hmm. and straw in the bottom and everything, because if you're cold, they're cold. Absolutely. And watch their water, too, because it'll freeze. Yes, it will. I found that out yeah. years ago. And, folks, I'll be back with you next week, but... I won't. Bernay's going to be Grandma again. Yeah, I'm going back to California. California. So, anyway, have a great weekend this weekend, folks. And uh, help out Ansley and her students yes, over yes. there at Cleveland High School. That's a wonderful project. Absolutely wonderful. And they need support. They I certainly mean, do. They all need. the good kids need to be supported right. in their and, efforts. And yeah. give, them, give them a, a cash donation or take yeah. them some 
Oh, good. perishable yes. food. Yeah. Good enough. Yes, very good. Folks, we'll see. I'll see you next week. And everybody think I'll about Renee. She flies west. Mm. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs>